Hello guys and welcome back to the channel, it's Iran coming to you with the latest news regarding Star Citizen Alpha 4.0. Today we don't have a new patch, but I was able to try yesterday and I gotta say that it was much better. We're making some progress here and that's some good news I would say. Uh, first I would say that performance is significantly better to anything that I've experienced before. Uh, whether it's uh, in space, you know, going to uh, normal space to quantum, or just uh, navigating around the jump points. Uh, I did not experience any drops of frames here. It seems that the jump point is working much better than before. Uh, what happened, my experience is I was able to get in front of it and uh, not get too fast, obviously, right? But I had the quantum mode activated. And I just had the little calibration thing that was uh, doing its uh, its own little process. And I got in almost uh, instantly here. Uh, this was a very smooth process, I would say. Inside a jump point, I did not have much loss of frames, as you can see here. It also worked quite well. I was able to smoothly uh, avoid any obstacles that were inside. I did notice the transition between the Stenton and the Pyro system. There was a slight little hiccup, but nothing that was uh, really too crazy or shocking here. And uh, the uh, arrival in the Pyro system also worked almost uh, smoothly as well. There was, again, one tiny little hiccup when I arrived, but it was nothing compared to what I experienced in the past. In the past, I was stuck in the jump point animation or I just crashed the desktop. Uh, none of that happened here. I was just able to do my thing. I was uh, able to jump uh, to Monox here, which was my next destination. So, uh, so far, I would say that we are heading toward the right direction with the previous patch. As I said, today, there is no patch. Uh, CIG is still working on the new New patch but it's going to come tomorrow i suppose that uh, today's patch was not satisfactory now that being said uh, there are a couple of things that in my opinion need to improve the first one is that there are still too many instances in which you fall through planets this has not happened to me on pyro one and i've not been to pyro three four uh, five and six but uh, at least on monox Pretty much all of the locations that I have been to, except for Jackson Swap, uh, which is one of the uh, locations there with, uh, it's like one of the outposts that are located on the planet. So all the locations, except Jackson Swap, have areas in which you fall through the planet, which is really, really annoying because, of course, you have to die if your respawn point is in the power, it's in the standard system, you have to respawn very far away, right? So um, I, I suggest my advice... And this is something that I'm going to do from now on is uh, take a ship that has um, that has a medical bed, right? So if, uh, if, if, if you have these issues where you fall through a planet, just backspace and you're going to respawn in the ship that has the medical bed that was at your location where you died. I think that this might be a safer option, but that being said, uh, it's obviously not an acceptable situation right now. And I really hope that CIG fixes this. We've seen in the patch notes that they have been regular updates for uh, pyro locations with further polish but this is really something that in my opinion the developers need to prioritize also uh, the next thing that i would like to talk about is trade i've made a thread on spectrum about it also but i want to talk about it on video as well trade right now at least from what i have seen uh, between monox and the and the center system sucks uh, there's no point in trading right now in Star Citizen between Pyro and the standard system because the profits are just not good enough. Uh, I, I can't imagine uh, why the profits are basically the same uh, when you, you trade from Stanton to Sestan or Stanton to Pyro. There's no point then for any traders to go to Pyro if the profits are the same. Of course, they're going to trade. They're going to go to a, a, a TDD at Lorville or Area 18 for the same amount of money and especially for the security because there's, as you know, no security. It's a low security system in the power system. So uh, you might expect to see a high risk versus a high reward type of situation for traders who trade between the standard system and the power system because they could be attacked at any moment, they could be robbed, they could be destroyed, and any pirates could come out there and take their cargo and sell the cargo for themselves, right? 
Well, uh, it's just not the case. In my opinion, uh, CIG need to at least double the profits compared to the profits that you would make in the standard system so that players will be enticed to navigate between the standard and the pyro system. And then, of course, pirates would be enticed to attack uh, these uh, traders so that then traders would be enticed to come out there with security. So that is how you create emergent gameplay. And that's how you create exciting gameplay uh, overall, right? That this is something that uh, so far I'm not seeing. So on Spectrum, of course, I saw all the white eyes said, oh, but uh, they are going to do that later. So, but they, they had two years to do it, <laughs> to already do it. I don't, I don't understand why they haven't figured it out before, right? So uh, it's just one of those things that I just hate seeing being done at the last minute. And I hope it's going to change. Well, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. That's all for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I would not be able to make all of my content without my Patreon and YouTube members, including Dr. Forbid, Zero Crusher, Ducky to Ducker, and Shadow Rise. I'm BD Rat. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you guys in the next one. Here on the night of fall, the atmosphere.